Hi guys! Today I am 36 weeks pregnant, which is absolutely crazy. Um, I really can't believe how fast time is flying by, which is a good thing. I don't actually want time to go slower, but I keep expecting for it to start going slower because I just imagine that the end of pregnancy, everybody always talks about how it drags and that hasn't happened yet. I definitely feel like the weeks just are flying. Um, I'll probably be kicking myself for saying that later on, but um, yeah, right now it's just going so quick. I can't believe that baby is here in about a month. It's just really amazing. So um, I had a midwife's visit last week, but I didn't get to talk about it in my update because the visit was after my update. So um, it was an uneventful visit, which is always a good thing because I feel like if there ever is anything that's eventful to come up in a midwife's visit it's probably because something isn't happening the way it should so you know that was a good thing um you know my blood pressure was good urine check came out clean um baby's heartbeat was 130 for anybody that cares <laughs> Um, and my, oh, actually interestingly, so the fundal height in my past has always been, it was always consistently measuring one centimeter behind how many weeks I was, which it doesn't mean that the baby's actually measuring behind, but that was just, I was consistently measuring one centimeter. Like if I was, you know, 28 weeks pregnant, I measured 27, um, centimeters in my fundal height. Um, this week was the first week that I measured um, the same number. So last week I was 35 weeks pregnant. When I went in for my appointment, I was measuring at 35 centimeters. Um, so I do think that baby had had a growth spurt because I'd already, I'd already thought, like I'd already thought before I'd heard that, you know, it had caught up. Um, that it had had a growth spurt because I think I even mentioned it in my last update that I had a couple days where I was just really tired and then suddenly after that um, the baby just felt a lot bigger in my stomach so like you know where I would feel its movements were suddenly like in much further sp spaces than it was previously so yeah that was kind of fun because it kind of confirmed to me that like baby really had an extreme growth spurt um, which is fun you know because I think my baby's gotten nice and long um, hopefully not too too plump well I don't mind if the baby's plump I'm just hoping that I'd rather have the baby get hubby's head than my head because I've got a nice big head and he's got a uh, much smaller head which would be a lot more fun to push out um, but I probably won't be so lucky um, Although I will say, um, I had a, I had my normal midwife at my last visit, but she had a different midwife do my measurements. So there is always the possibility that she just measures slightly different from how my midwife measures, because I did feel like she was starting the tape a bit lower than my midwife does. So the measurements also could have come out different just because every midwife is slightly different in how they measure. But I do think baby had a growth spurt regardless because it's just felt super long ever since I had those tired days. Um, and I haven't had any like extremely tired days this past week, which was nice. So um, in the actual 36 week of pregnancy, um, I don't know. I kind of feel like now... Well, it's been throughout my pregnancy, but I do kind of feel like now that I'm expanding more than the belly is, um, I really do wonder sometimes what's actually growing. Like, is it my belly or is it just my butt and my thighs that's growing or my face, even my nose? I feel like my nose has definitely grown quite a bit. My arms have certainly throughout my pregnancy appeared lusciously plumper than normal. Um, I think the nose thing is really what gets me because it's like I don't understand what about pregnancy would make your nose get bigger but I have actually heard quite a few people mention in pregnancy vlogs that their nose was growing 
and I feel like my nose certainly has gotten just wider than it. I mean, I've always had like a, you know, a very Asian, like flat, wider nose, but um, I just feel like it's gotten bigger. Um, you know, I'm, I think it's one of the, well, you know, what? I don't know if it actually goes away after pregnancy. I was going to say, I think it does, but I have no idea. So we'll find out. But I also don't know if it's just me when I'm swelled, if it just appears bigger when I'm swollen, um, or if I'm just completely making it up. Cause I don't know, you start looking for these things when you're pregnant, but, um, but speaking of swelling though, I haven't actually had any swelling, um, because at this point in pregnancy, I think it's very common for women to start swelling like around the ankles, especially or the feet um, and, you know, going into the legs. And luckily, I haven't had any of that experience yet. I'm hoping to get through pregnancy without that because obviously that's not fun. So but that's really good. I definitely have been really on top of staying hydrated because I want to stay away from that as well as. Um, hydration always seems to be one of the things that comes up the most when women have um, a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions or you know a lot sometimes if you have a lot of contractions it can actually trigger an early labor so I've really been keeping on top of like drinking water because I don't want to have you know more contractions than my body should be and um, you know I'm trying to keep the swelling at bay so and it's been working because actually I have I feel like I did I don't remember how many weeks I was when I talked about it but there was like a week or so where I was getting kind of um stronger feeling Braxton Hicks contractions but they weren't they weren't frequent um I would only get them like maybe a few times a day but they weren't they were much stronger and like lately now like when I feel them like sometimes I'm like, oh, I think I'm contracting and I actually have to feel my stomach to feel if it's getting hard because the sensation isn't very strong at all. And um, it still doesn't happen very often, although I could honestly just not even notice when it's happening sometimes. So that might be why I think it doesn't happen often, but I think that's because I've been drinking so much water. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah. Um, update for the week. I've the, with the last time I changed my bed sheets, I um, decided that instead of putting, um, like normally I always put down like a, uh, it's just, it's called like a mattress protector, but it's really just like, it's not a fluffy, it's not a fluffy layer that I add, but it's just an extra layer that you put between your mattress and your bed sheet that's I guess meant to like absorb any extra nasties or anything so that your mattress stays nice longer. Um, so we've always used one of those, but I switched it out for a waterproof mattress protector this week because I figured, um, you know, I know it's not super common actually for women to have like this gush of um, their water breaking, but it is always a possibility. So I just thought, well, you know, I really could go into labor at any time. Like, I might as well get this waterproof one down and um, be prepared just in case. So that was kind of fun because I definitely am just getting to this point where, like, now, like, I've started pulling things out of storage that, um, you know, I'd put away in, like, different places in the house because, um, you know, a lot of these things were purchased months ago for baby and I'm starting to pull things out. Cause I really feel like, oh, well baby could come at any minute. Like I want this out. I want this ready to go. Like I've got um, a bag of snacks in the background. Well, I don't think you can actually see it. Yeah, it doesn't show up in the background, but I have like a bag of snacks for, um, you know, me, my husband and the midwives for when I go into labor. Cause like, of course we have food in the house and we generally always have food in the house, but just in case it's one of those days where there's not much food in the house, I have like, a bag of, um, you know, there's some like juice and stuff in there that is the kind that doesn't come from the refrigerator section or, you know, if I can't make fresh juice or something, like I've just got like some juice in there and like, you know, some kind of like more sugary snacks. If I just want something to give me like a little boost, I've got some snacks for the midwives, um, just like, you know, little like cookies and stuff. But like, this is the stuff that I'm thinking about, like, oh, I need this ready because... I could go into labor 
at any time. I mean, hopefully, obviously, I'm 36 weeks pregnant. I don't want to go into labor like this week. Um, I don't want to go into labor next week, but um, you know, you just never know. So I'm definitely at that point where I'm like, I want to get things ready. I want to get things ready. Um, which speaking of, so this week is um, I'm having a home visit where the midwives come to, well, midwives, it's going to be two that are coming to the home to, um, what they do is they drop off the home birth kit. So in the UK, um, because a home birth is something that everyone has a right to have on the national healthcare system, um, they supply everything that you need for the home birth with the exception of like, you know, what I've prepared is just like a box of like old towels, old sheets, like so I can like lay them over any areas that I want to keep clean during the labor, but they supply everything that's actually needed to deliver the baby. So that's really nice. So they're gonna drop that off so that whenever I go into labor, it doesn't matter which midwife is able to come deliver my baby. Um, and it doesn't matter if they have stuff on hand or not, like they're ready to come assist me and I have everything in the home ready to go. So they'll do that. And obviously they just want to see the home before the day of, just to make sure that there's adequate space for labor and that it's, I mean, you know, you'd imagine that it needs to be hygienic and they want to make sure they have a space to do the paperwork and everything. Um, you know, I imagine most people can fit those categories, but it's just one of those things that, you know, they don't want to walk blindly into a home that they've never seen. Um, and then, yeah, they go over what they call a risk assessment, which is just basically they tell you what could go wrong and how they would handle it. So, you know, like in what, sh in what instances they would need to get the ambulance or you know, what to expect while you're waiting for that to happen. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Actually, I know it's like a weird thing to look forward to, but like, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and then I have another regular midwife's appointment next week. But um, I think the way the schedule worked, it's quite a bit later in the week than it normally is. Because for some reason, or maybe it's not hold on. Not that it really, you guys don't care. I don't even know why, but I feel like I've brought it up so I need to talk about it. Yeah, my next appointment is on a Monday, which is actually quite normal because it's usually either on a Monday or a Tuesday. So there's nothing there's nothing weird about that. It's just my memory is not working correctly. So that's all I had to talk about for that. I will say my most exciting thing that happened this past week was a dream. I haven't had many dreams about baby at all throughout this entire pregnancy. I've had loads of crazy dreams, but I just have not had dreams about baby. I've had one occasion where I had two dreams in the same night where um, I dreamt that baby, just that I had like a little boy. Um, I don't necessarily feel like I'm having a boy though. Well, I think it's just because I don't know and I don't have any strong feelings that it's anything specific that, you know, I just, I don't feel comfortable enough to actually really be like, oh, I think I'm having a boy. Cause to me, I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm just as likely to have a girl. So, and there is no preference at this point. I will be honest because my husband and I would like more than one child, I do think that there will be pressure on the second child to be the opposite sex. Not like actual pressure, but I will have a preference for sure, just because I think a lot of people do have like that preference for the second one to be the opposite of whatever the first one was, but definitely for this baby, like, you know, I don't care. Um, not that like I would, you know, if my second child was the same sex, like if I have a second child, because obviously each pregnancy is definitely a blessing and you just never know what's going to happen. But um, yeah, so I would love all of my children regardless of what sex they are. But just being honest, I would have a preference for the second one to be something specific. That's just being honest. Um, yeah, so... That was the only time I've had dreams about the baby was the one night where I had two dreams, like two separate dreams. But this past week I had 
a really bizarre dream about the baby, which was so cool because basically I was showing my bump to somebody. It wasn't anybody that I, I don't like know who this other person was. Like it wasn't someone specific in my life or if it was, then I don't remember who it was. But um, I was like pointing to like a lump on my stomach and I was like, oh look, that's the baby's butt because the baby's always sticking its butt out, which is true. The baby is always sticking its butt out. Um, and then I lifted my shirt to show them like the actual belly. And when I lifted my shirt, it wasn't the baby's butt. It was the baby's face like pressed up so hard against my skin that you could see every single feature. And I just started freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I can see my baby's face. Like I know what my baby looks like. And I remember in the dream, I like was like, um, like, going crazy looking for my phone and then I started taking loads of pictures because I wanted to be able to show my husband because um, he was at like work or he wasn't there at that moment and I wanted to make sure that he would see it before the baby like moved and I couldn't see its face anymore and as I was taking photos of the baby like it was like switching its face positions around and everything and I remember at one point it made like a certain expression on its face where I was like Oh, I got to get that one on camera because it looks just like my husband. Um, it, not that the baby looked exactly like my husband, but it just that the expression it made was like an expression that my husband makes. Um, yeah, couldn't tell if it was a boy or girl in this dream because obviously babies look very unisex. Um, it was, you know, and it was just a chubby little baby face. Um... And it was weird because it was just one of those things where I woke up and I was like, that's what my baby looks like. Like, I really feel like that's what my baby looks like. Um, so that was really fun because it, to me in the dream, it, it had like, you know, Asian features and it was just a little chubby baby face where, you know, how most babies look, but then like, Especially because even though it had like some Asian features, like when it pulled the expression of my husband, like it really to me seemed like it was like, you know, part me and part him together. And that was just really interesting because I haven't really thought much about what my baby's going to actually look like because I spend more time wondering if baby is a boy or a girl. And I think because I'm always thinking about that, I haven't really thought too much about what my baby's going to look like. But I do think that maybe the dream was brought on because I had said that to a friend recently who had a child. Um, her son was born just about, I think it's a month ago. And she had made some comment about how she couldn't wait to see what our baby was born looking like and I kind of was like oh I haven't really thought about that much so that might have triggered that thought in my mind to create that dream but I just felt like it was really exciting because to me like that was really my baby's face so that was really really cool um yeah so that's all I have to talk about this week and I have to show you the bump I actually remembered awesome okay so the bump and once again, I'm wearing a really big drapey shirt, so you can't really see. So that is a lot better to see. The bump is definitely nice and big. I love it so much. Although, I will say how big it actually looks really depends more on if I've eaten or not. Because when I've eaten, my stomach, obviously, which is all the way up here now, my stomach will put pressure on the belly and push it out even more. So... It's really early in the day, I haven't had much yet. So I think it almost looks a bit smaller right now than it does sometimes. Like once I've eaten, it definitely plumps out more. But this is true baby, because I haven't eaten much. And I just, one more thing actually about the baby is the movements have finally gotten um, less severe, which is nice. I still feel baby moving around all day long but because it's so cramped in there, it doesn't have the space to make really big movements. So like they're more just like little tiny movements. So it's really sweet. Ah, love my baby so much. Okay, so have a good week, everybody. And if you're actually watching this, like 
thank you because I talk a lot like I can't believe anybody would make it to the end of this like I don't watch my own vlogs for the record I actually when I edit it I just take off the beginning to make sure that I've cut out you know that time that I just sit in front of the camera like this hi guys like there's a long pause and then I just cut off the very end when I'm like really close to the camera like looking to hit the button so that's all I watch I don't watch the whole in between part so for anybody that can actually stand to watch me like you guys are awesome um yeah so I'll see you later in the week I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about it depends on really how the midwife visit goes because I feel like I might be able to talk more on that once they're like, you know, like with what they bring or how they went over things, but it just depends if it seems interesting or not. Um, otherwise I was thinking usually by 36 weeks is when they say you should have your hospital bag packed. So I was thinking I might do a what's in my hospital bag video. It's really funny though, because part of me is like, nobody wants to see that, but there's irony in that because since I've been pregnant, I have lost, I mean, I couldn't even say how many what's in my hospital bag videos I have watched because I have watched, I mean, I watch multiple ones every week and I'm like 36 weeks pregnant now. So you do the math, like well over a hundred. <laughs> that's, that's crazy to think like I've probably watched like over a hundred what's in my hospital bag videos. Like too much time on my hands but you know when I'm like cleaning and stuff in the house I almost always have a YouTube video like just going on in the background just because like that's what I do to keep myself like noise in the background so I watch a lot of videos um yeah I said I was gonna be done like probably about five minutes ago so now I'm actually done I'll see you guys uh later in the week and then for those of you that just watch the pregnancy updates I'll see you next week have a good day bye